Hi everybody and welcome to this week's video. I am so excited about this video. Let me tell you why. I have just come back from Winners and I have this bag plus some other stuff that I have recently purchased from Winners that I am dying to share with you guys. So I'm just going to get right to it. If this is something that is interesting to you, don't forget to grab your notebooks and your pens and let's get started. Okay, so I have a mixture of kind of like household and hair and then a bunch of makeup stuff too. So I'm going to start with the household. The first thing I'm going to share with you are, <laughs> they are called Jordan's Skinny Syrups Whipped Foam Toppings. First I picked up the French vanilla flavor and then I went back and bought the salted caramel flavor today. Um, I kind of had no idea what this was. It was just kind of like a coffee sweetener. Um, sorry about the reflection in the glasses. My eyes are killing me today and contacts were just no-go. I bought this thinking that it was just like a like sugar-free, calorie-free coffee sweetener. It is not that at all. It is so much cooler. On this, you will probably not spend another dime at Starbucks or for any kind of cappuccino, period. Your cup of coffee. Eh? Eh, there's coffee in here. Brew your coffee. You can put like creamer or milk or almond milk, whatever you like in there. And then, okay, I'm going to come closer because this is so cool. And then what you do is you... <laughs> That's hot. I just burnt my mouth. Is you pump this onto the top of your coffee. You instantly have Starbucks quality foam. And it tastes amazing. That's what these things are. Foam toppers. That's so cool. I liked it. I usually find I will give like maybe three pumps of this in my coffee. And then I don't need any kind of sweetener or anything in it. This is... So for the next item, um, we, a couple weeks ago, we had, we bought a bad batch of um, natural flour and we ended up having like those worms that turn into moss. They were like harvesting in the flour. It was so disgusting. Ooh, I just can't. It was just so gross. Throwing everything out that was relatively close to that flour. And then I went and I bought these airtight, like, sealable containers. What I like about this is it has a little button, like, so you cannot open this. But it has a little button that you click, and then that releases the top and opens it. So I know that everything is sealed and, like, nothing can get in. I'm in different sizes. This is, there's smaller ones, and then there's definitely taller ones as well. Um, but this size retails for $12.99. Next item is, you can call it a little excessive. When I'm at work, I have no problem drinking water. I have my water bottle right in front of me. I sip it throughout the day. But then I get home and I don't really drink water in the evening unless I'm at the gym. So that needed to change. So what I did is I found this monster water bottle at I don't think it was winners it was home sense but they're owned by the same people so what you can find at home sense you can definitely find at winners in terms of stuff like this this and I said wow this is amazing I need this one it is massive this could be like my water for the entire evening I don't have to keep on refilling it is I believe it's 52 ounces um Two, it is double walled and sealable. So if I put ice cubes in here, it's going to stay cold for the whole night. Sometimes I'll wake up and I'll empty the bottle out and the ice cubes are intact. Um, so it keeps the beverages really, really cold. And also it has a handle. What water bottle has a handle? Like, this thing's just huge. It's hilarious, but I freaking love it. And Eve... I think we bought this for $24, but I mean, come on, like, <laughs> it's just funny. <laughs> Next household items are these ice cube trays. They are these 
ice cubes. They are so cool. I love these because these, you don't have to worry about the shape of the ice cube. It will just drop into whatever water bottle you have. It has two trays and they are these, I don't know, I just like it. I really liked it and it was a good price. It was $3.99 for these two. So, I, you know, why not? Okay, this next purchase is probably the funniest and best buy I think I have found at Winners to date. It is, it needs an unveiling in and of itself. <laughs> look at this mug. I <laughs> just, just look at it. Look at this mug. It is so funny and so freaking cute. So I actually had a Minnie Mouse mug in my cart and again, I love Disney, so for me to put down a Minnie Mouse mug and pick this up, it had to be really freaking unique. And it is. I mean, it's hilarious. I've never seen a mug like this before. I just had to get it. And it was also on clearance for $4. <laughs> really big, like it doesn't look too big, but it's really wide on the bottom. It's really wide, so you'd actually get a decent sized cup of tea. Okay, next we're going to move into hair. So being a curly haired gal, there are a lot of ways that you can preserve your hair at night um, in terms of like not disturbing the curls or preventing breakage, especially in the back. And one of those ways is by having silk hair scrunchies. I use these when I go to bed and when I go to the gym. Um, so. I pull my hair up in a pineapple like this and instead of like those traditional elastic bands that are terrible for curly hair, I use one of these and I will literally just, hold on, let me take my hair out. So when I go to bed, I literally just pull my hair through and I let my hair just sit like that. So the, the hairs aren't pulled super tight on my scalp but they're still pulled out of the way so when I sleep, I don't flatten the curls here. Um, and then I also wear these at the gym as well because they're really, really gentle on the curls. And when I take it out, my hair doesn't like rip. And also the good things with these is that you can wash them. There is nothing wrong with washing these. I don't remember how much these cost, but it wasn't more than like seven bucks. The next hair purchase, um, was this pack of combs. I believe it's a set of eight. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, it's a set of eight. And this, I believe I bought this for $8.99. And like you get everything with this set. Like you have this kind of comb. You have one with a little rat tail on it. I don't know if you can see that. A little rat tail that you can like part your hair. Really fine uh, bristles. You have like your, another traditional comb here. Um, I don't really know what to use this one for. It has bristles on it. Like the bristles are jagged. So that would be dangerous for curly hair, but I could use this to pick out the curls. Um, another, you know, I, but what I really bought this for were three because they are super wide tooth combs. And this is what I use to brush my hair when, or to comb my hair when it's wet. So I really like these. I pretty much use all of them, but these three. I have used this one to part my hair, but the rest of them, um, it's just too fine of a bristle for my hair. But the next items are actually hair products, products I had mentioned in my curly hair video. So again, if you have not watched that, I will put the links to those videos below um, and you can go watch them. So I came across this brand called We Dad at Winners. So at the time that I made the video, I had no idea about this company. So what I decided to do is like find them on Instagram, research them, and they're actually a brand that is just dedicated to curly hair. It's very comparable to brands like Diva Curl and like they have salons that are opened under their name that are just dedicated to curly hair which is amazing. So I bought this gel when I first filmed that video and this is pretty much I think there's maybe only this much left and so anytime I go into a winner's I go directly to the hair section to see if I can find any more Weed Dad products. Um, and I am such a moron because I came across a huge Weed Ad shampoo for, I think it was $19. And a bottle like this, 
of gel retails in their stores for $19. And I think this thing was about a liter. And I was like, eh, it's okay. I still have shampoo. Oh, find these at Winners. Grab them. So I did find the Weed Ed Curl Quencher Moisturizing Style Gel. And what I did notice is on the side, it tells you for what kind of curl type. So this one is for tight curls. The, oh, you can't see this, but this one says classic curls. And I have been addicted to this. If I don't find it in stores, I'll probably end up purchasing it from their website. Now the newest one that I did find was the Advanced Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel anti frizz Nanotech for defining curls. So I was like, great, I'm almost out of this one, I should buy it. And this one says for all hair types. And this bottle, okay, so this bottle retailed for $12.99. This one is $16.99 at Winners. And then this little guy was $3.99. And again, these products on their website, they're really pricey. So I'm really, really surprised that, you know, I own these and that they're priced so well. Another thing that I did find was this castor oil curl refining spray infused with castor oil. And it is for curly hair. So... Um, I actually been liking this a lot. What I do is when I refresh my curls, so what that means is I don't wash my hair every day. So after I sleep, I take my hair out like this and then I have a spray bottle from the dollar store. Uh, so I fill it about this much with water and then I will top it off with the refresh spray and then I'll mix them together. And then what I do is I spray my curls until they're wet, add more gel and then just let them dry, either air dry or via... Um, hair diffuser I'm really happy with this castor oil is known for helping hair growth especially like eyelashes and like like I have a bit of a like a bald spot we'll call it and since I've been using it I've noticed that like my little baby hairs are coming in um, so yeah and when I went back today they had like three or four bottles of this uh, now to the big bag oh I actually have I actually have a face product I guys they have amazing skincare there. Like, you just have to have the patience to sit and look through. You decided to pick something that is new. This is actually a day cream, but I would definitely use this at night. This is the Rose Plus Facial Day Cream with Dead Sea Minerals. Now, let's open this up because I haven't actually... Ooh, this packaging is nice. I bought this for $12.99 and you get 1.69 ounces. And I want to smell this because it is rose. Ooh, it's creamy. Ah, oh, shit. That is really, really nice. And I am obsessed with any products that have rose or rose water in them. I think it's so nice on the skin and it's very, very gentle. Guys, the rest of the items are makeup. And I am so excited because some of these are pretty high-end. Like, this is stuff that is sold at Sephora. So when I see that at Winners, I am going to grab on for dear freaking life. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find what these actually retail for if you actually walked into a Sephora. And then... And then you'll see kind of the price difference and how much money you're actually saving by going to Winners and finding these finds. I will start with this. So I picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the sh in the shade Heathers. Heathers. Wow, I can't read. So this is in the shade Heathers. This was $9.99. And it is such like a nice deep. Ooh, look at this. Look at that color. Oh my god. Oh, it's super creamy. Look at that. Oh wow. I like that. Very nice. I really, really like that. Next is an Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Blush um, in the shade Rapture. And this was $16.99. Which I mean, it's not expensive. But for Urban Decay, that's a really good price. Okay, so this is the first time I'm seeing it. I just kind of picked it. 
Oh! What? Oh, that is such an interesting color. This would be nice. Oh, it's like a mauve? Mauve? How do you say that word? Mauve? I think it's mauve. It's almost like a pinky mauve color. Oh, that is so cool. This is a good buy. Oh, I like it. There was another like peachy one that was there. I didn't open it, but I thought by here, like the color swatch here, that it would be kind of closer to that, but it definitely wasn't. Next is this super cool Urban Decay Vice Lipstick. This is, what shade is this? This is Bobbi Dazzle and it says Metalized. Um, and this, re this I bought this for $9.99. Now I just had to buy this because I literally don't have anything like it. And it is white. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God, it is so cool. I need it to, s ooh. Okay, so this would be like a lipstick topper. I don't know if you can see that, but can you see that shimmer? Oh my God, this is so cool. I top this over any lipstick, like a matte lipstick and give it a nice shimmer. Oh my God. I'm so happy I bought this. That is so cool. This one, I was so shocked with this one. This is a Bare Minerals product. Who knew that they sold Bare Minerals at Winners? But it's a mine and it's now mine. This is a Invis Invisible Glow Powder Highlight. And it's in the shade Fair to Light. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I just got goosebumps. Look at this. Even Nala's excited about this. Okay, I'm gonna swatch it. Ooh, okay, it's kind of powdery. This is how it's swatched on the finger. Okay, let me do this. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Once you work it out, once like you work it into the skin, it's very subtle. Can you see that? It's like right here. Oh my God is really pretty you can definitely like build it up Ooh. okay hold on it was like a couple passes with it wow oh my god and that was only 16 dollars wow and bare minerals is such a good product oh my god i can't believe that last product i have to share with you is from a brand called cargo um actually I liked this is not the last product I'm gonna share this one last but I do want to show you this cheek ultra blush palette that I picked up at winners as well this is by makeup revolution London this brand is now sold at London drugs as well but you can find a a bit of a discount at winners so always a plus this thing is gorgeous look Look at those colors. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. You have uh, two, four, six, eight different colors. You have two baked blushes here, but this one right here, it's more like a highlighter and it's really, 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 really pretty. It's just super cute. It's, it's a baby pink. Um, you can use these as blush toppers, so you put your blush on if you just want to like sweep a bit of a shimmer over the blush. It looks really, really, really good. But this would be a perfect cheek palette to travel with. You literally, you have your neutrals, a bit of pinks, a peach, a mix of everything, and then a highlighter and um, a shimmery blush topper. Like you wouldn't need to take anything else with you. Um, I really like it and they're super pigmented. So yeah, $12.99. Now we are moving on to the last product, which is the Cargo Havana Nights palette. I think Cargo used to be sold at Sephora. I don't remember, but, and I think, I don't even know where they sell Cargo anymore. I know it's for sure not in Sephora. This palette was so beautiful. And it comes with a mirror and a brush. Okay, look at this. It has the nicest, 
summer colors. Oh my goodness, it's just beautiful. Like that mint, malecon is pretty. Um, Café con leche is pretty. I'm going to swatch some of these. Um, the brush that it comes with, cargo brushes, are really, really soft. And they do not irritate my eyes, which is awesome. Of this, I just, I saw it. There's a lot of cargo palettes there. And cargo's really, really good quality. But I saw this one and I was like, ooh, I don't really have something like this. I'm going to buy it. $12.99. And... Yeah, so everybody, that was my winner's haul. Um, I just get too excited at winners because they have amazing deals and finds. You just have to have the patience to sort through everything. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. Also, please subscribe to my channel. I am a brand new YouTuber in a sea of endless YouTube content. So if you could subscribe, I would really appreciate that. I don't know if anyone's going to watch this, but if you do, please subscribe. And that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Bye.